Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is 9.30 EST on September 28th. Here's a very big problem. Market had been dancing at the end of the minor trend on daily for the last five days. If you are a knowledgeable position trader, you know extremely well the importance of not shorting anywhere near this level. It is absolutely not an option to short into the end of the minor trend. It is essential to respect this level and this is exactly, precisely the reason why buyers right now are picking up this team. But don't be fooled. It's extremely temporary, temporary dance. This level is broken. On daily chart, S&P is collapsing to here. 1873.50 is next. Price is showing me right now very, very clearly. That's where it's heading to. Buying S&P, buying an investor in this market is not an option. It's an option only one to be completely out of this market. And that's why it's essential and crucial to know Fibonacci levels. I also expect this level to be broken and for the price to collapse drastically lower levels. This remains the key though, and that's exactly why we're trying to see continuous buying pressure in this market. But don't be fooled, sellers are waiting, waiting, waiting. And here is your weekly chart. Sellers stepped in with vengeance from the end of the minor trend to the upside, reminding you every single buying pressure is completely worthless. All price has to do is blast through this level to the downside, to drastically lower levels. And that's what we're expecting S&P to do. So, when it comes to larger time frames, if you are a wise and knowledgeable investor and trader, you had been completely out of the market of at least November last year. When S&P monthly, as spelled out by Alpha Wave Trader method, reached reversal zone. All levels identified by Alpha Wave Trader method since 2009 had been reached. So what is the key level to the downside on monthly? 1786-1800 area. This level is broken. S&P is heading to here. This level is broken. S&P is heading into oblivion. So, you're a knowledgeable investor. You're not having sweat palms. You're not sending me panicky emails. You're on vacation somewhere very, very far. You've taken profits off the table. That's why it's essential and crucial to know Fibonacci levels. And it's essential and crucial to know when to get the heck out of your investments on Apple because Apple is in complete free fall. Any bullish move on Apple is very, very temporary. So let's go to our day trading chart. As I warned you, we are in temporary dance. Whatever bullish fluff, take it with a grain of salt. This is the key level to the downside. Knowledgeable trader waiting for powerful push to the upside before short. We're in very, very nasty and very dangerous area. For the last four hours, buyers continued picking up this team. And this is what separates knowledgeable trader who know this is very dangerous place. Market had been dancing here for the last five hours. Do not short anywhere near these levels. Not an option. And that's a very big, big pickle when it comes to day trading and completely expected because the most important rule you learn in the course had been met. And if you sign up for the course overnight, you must be in Alpha Wave Traders Club right now. We're missing Alan. Alan, I hope to see you very shortly. Class starts from scratch at 12.45 EST. We're in ongoing class the entire morning. So again, if buyers will push all the way back up, I look forward to short and short and short S&P. Shorting in this area is the worst idea ever. When it comes to day trading, every tick matters. 
I completely expect markets to collapse, but this is not the place to short. It would be marvelous if worthless news will push the market up. You will see serious volume, but near these levels, as you could see since 2 o'clock in the morning, my time, it's been 5 hours of this worthless dance, we're frankly screwed. We're in for a very boring day. Essential and crucial to play by the rules. If you're shorting right now, your success rate 20%.